It's time now for a little latest in local news. In the news, the Wayne County Board of Education met Tuesday afternoon for a work session. After an executive session, approved the personnel. Still a few principal slots to fill before next school year. It was announced Tuesday that Michael Ward will go from assistant principal from the high school to become the new principal at North Williams Middle School beginning next year. Scriven Elementary is still looking for their next principal, but no announcement on Tuesday. Other personnel approved Tuesday. Certified recommendation, Ren Woodward, Jessup Elementary, classified transfers. Jennifer Chan from Martha Ross Smith Elementary to James E. Bacon Elementary. Megan Corrado from Odom Elementary School to James E. Bacon. Again, Michael Ward from Wayne County High School Assistant Principal to Arthur Williams Middle School Principal. Kimberly Williams from Jessup Elementary to Wayne County High School. Christy Wood from Martha Ross Smith Elementary Instructional Coach to Martha Ross Smith Elementary Assistant Principal. Certified Resignations, Joseph Jones, Martha Puckett Middle School. Kelly Smith, Martha Ross Smith Elementary. Class writer recommendation, Angel Culver, Odom Elementary. Classified transfer, Delicia Hodges from James E. Bacon to Odom Elementary. On the agenda, Tuesday resolutions and recognitions. We begin with the Young Authors Regional Level Winners, Young Georgia Authors Writing Competition. is a prestigious competition that has been open to students across Georgia each year for more than two decades. This competition allows students to celebrate and demonstrate their expertise in writing. They recognized two students last night who won first place in system-level competition and placed in the regional-level competition for First District Risa. Logan Leisure is a third-grade student at Martha Ross Smith Elementary, placed first in the district and first in the region for third graders for his writing entitled Show and Tell Day. Liz Patton is a seventh-grade student at Arthur Williams Middle School, who also placed first in the district and third in the region for seventh graders for her writing entitled Birds. Both of these students have been invited to the annual Georgia Authors Award Ceremony and Reception. That's going to be held on Thursday, April 20th at 6 p.m. at Coastal Pines Technical College. Also, the REACH Georgia Scholars were announced last night. REACH Georgia is the state Georgia's first needs-based mentorship and college scholarship program. It stands for Realizing Educational Achievement Can Happen. It was launched in 2012 as a key component of the state's Complete Georgia Initiative. The mission of the REACH program is to increase academic persistence and achievement of Georgia's academically promising middle and high school students and to increase college access and success while preparing students for the 21st century workplace. This program provides scholars with academic, social, and financial support needed to graduate from high school, gain access to college, and achieve post-secondary success. Upon successful completion of the program, qualifying students can earn a $10,000 scholarship to use towards the cost of attendance of a HOPE-eligible post-secondary institution. Throughout their high school career, students must maintain scholarship eligibility by maintaining good grades, behavior, and attendance, as well as remaining drug and crime-free. This year's Senior Reach Georgia Scholars represents Wayne County's third cohort of scholars. Following students were recognized Hannah Evers, Samuel Jasma, Madison Martin, Bartola Mendez, Irene Raimondo Ventura. This group of eighth graders is the seventh cohort of Reach Georgia Scholars will be graduating with the class of 2027. Riley Campbell, Jasmine Copeland, Naomi Fussell, Martiza Moran, and Madeline Sanderlin. And they congratulate the eighth grade senior cohorts of the Reach Georgia Scholars. Through the efforts of the Wayne County School System and Partners in Education, they've been able to provide this opportunity to 25 Wayne County students throughout all seven cohorts. Items on the agenda last night, the board approved a bid for the middle school flooring. That bid was awarded last night to Granger Contracting and Services. The amount of the bid, $1,062,582, and that's for both middle schools. Middle school athletics on the agenda, assistant AD and hit football coach J. Bill Shaw on hand with a presentation to do away with athletic teams at the two middle schools who combine the two teams into one, have one sixth grade, one seventh grade, and one eighth grade teams in each sport, do away with the rivalry between Arthur Williams and Martha Puckett Middle Schools, combine them into one Wayne County Middle School team. A lot of middle school kids, a lot of middle school teams can't field teams in some sports like golf and tennis. A lot of sixth graders simply don't see any playing time once they make the middle school team. But again, they state if they have one sixth grade team, one seventh grade team, one eighth grade team, that'll help get them on the field earlier. Once again, that proposal made last night will continue to follow the story as it develops. No vote taken last night. Once again, that's the wish of the athletic department to do away with the two middle school teams and combine them into one Wayne County middle school team. That's a look at your Tuesday school board meeting. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, the commercial messages. So please stay tuned. Wayne County Chamber of Commerce's 14th annual Taste of Wayne is set for tomorrow night at Coastal Pines Technical College and Thursday night, April 13th from 6 to 10 p.m. tomorrow night. 
The theme is a night at the races. They'll have several virtual horse races set up. They also have a live and silent auction set up. Raffle tickets also available. Prizes include two fifty, five hundred, seven hundred and fifty, one thousand dollar cash prizes. You do not have to be present to win, but the tickets are available at the Chamber of Commerce. Plenty of good food, a lot of food vendors tomorrow night in the fourteenth annual Taste of Wayne. Thursday night, Coastal Pines Technical College, Chamber's largest fundraiser of the year. Tickets are on sale at the Chamber, fifty dollars for members, seventy five dollars for guests. Everyone's invited. Once again, if you need tickets or more information, call the Chamber at four two seven two zero two eight. The following week, the Chamber are getting ready to host their post-legislative luncheon. This is also taking place at Coastal Pines Technical College. The date, Thursday, April 20th, with doors opening at 11 a.m. for a buffet lunch and the program beginning at 11.45 a.m. On hand on the panel will be our local delegation of representatives, State Senator Blake Tillery, also State Representative Stephen Meeks, and State Representative Buddy Deloach, all on hand to give their thoughts on the legislative session, which ended recently. Tickets are on sale at the Chamber of Commerce, $25 for Chamber members, $35 for non-members. Everyone's invited to come and meet and hear what the legislators have to say about the recent session. Once again, that date, Thursday, April 20th, at the Coastal Pines Technical College. Very important blood drive coming up on Monday at Cary Baptist Church Gymnasium. And the Red Cross stresses how important these blood drives are. Jessup Community Blood Drive, sponsored by the Jessup Shriners Ladies Auxiliary, takes place Monday, April 17th from 1 to 6 p.m. at the Cary Baptist Church Gymnasium. To schedule an appointment, you can visit redcrossblood.org, enter Jessup, schedule an appointment. Once again, they encourage everyone to give the gift of life a pint of blood. That's this coming Monday, April 17th, between 1 and 6 p.m. Again, the location, Calvary Baptist Church Gymnasium, 415 East Cherry Street here in Jessup. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes and news, Wayne County Historical Society meets Thursday, April 13th at Captain Joe's Seafood Restaurant. The street meal this Thursday begins at 6 with the meeting at 7. The history of the Hortense Wesleyan Camp meeting and tabernacle established in 1905 will be presented by Reverend Shelton Rao. Reverend Rao is the pastor of the Bethlehem Wesleyan Church. was camp president there for 37 years. And the Historical Society encourages members to attend and welcomes new members. That's taking place tomorrow night at Captain Joe's Seafood Restaurant. Matter the Wayne County Board of Tourism had to cancel the paddle run. Again, the river level remains high. It looks like it's going to stay up for the immediate future. So, again, that's been canceled. The Tourism Board is getting ready for their inaugural Jessup Porch Fest. It's a music festival held on the porches and lawns of historic homes and churches in the old town neighborhood of Jessup, bordered by Brunswick Bay, Wayne, and Plum Streets. Set for April 22nd from 2 to 5 p.m. Local musicians will be, will be performing, allowing visitors to enjoy the music from different venues. Traveling by golf carts, bicycles, or on foot between the different host sites. Once again, they're going to feature 12 sites with 12 performances. A map with times, places, and designated parking areas will be available for visitors. An information tent will be set up on the corner of Brunswick and Plum Streets adjacent to First Baptist Church. Anyone interested in performing or if you need more information, contact Heather Altman at the Wayne County Board of Tourism Office. That number again, 912-427-3233. We can stop by the Jesuit Train Depot and the Jessup Porch Fest set for Saturday, April 22nd, between 2 and 5 p.m. Hospice of Science George hosting their big seniors prom event this Saturday night, April 15th from 5 to 8 p.m. Again, it was a big hit last year. Should be another success this year. It takes place at Under the Chandelier. If you need more information, call Kylie McGregor at 588-0080. And State Board of Education member Nick Ellis is holding a public hearing for citizens of the 1st Congressional District on Tuesday, April 18th from 7 to 8 p.m., at the Wayne County School Systems Tech Center at 1365 West Orange Street. They state the purpose of the hearing is to hear comments from interested citizens and educators within the Congressional District regarding K-12 public education. Once again, the 1st Congressional District includes Appling, Bacon, Brantley, Bryan, Camden, Charlton, Chatham, Glen, Liberty, Long, McIntosh, Pierce, Ware, and Wayne Counties. Also portions of Effingham County. Once again, the meeting is set for Tuesday, April 18th at the Tech Center here in Jessup. And that's going to do it for latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, save a great day.